Celebrating Women's History Month, the Catholic High School of Baltimore is working to increase diversity in the field of STEM. That's right. Miana Massey explains how they implement science and technology into the curriculum to help young girls achieve their dreams. Well, these biomed students here at the Catholic High School of Baltimore are ahead of the game. A full simulation lab giving them hands on experience inside the classroom. Set up like a real hospital room, Clinical Lab is one of several STEM courses giving young girls a head start into the medical field. The students um, can have, have opportunities to practice different health skills they learn in the different courses. We were able to truly simulate, simulate having to talk to a patient and doing the things that um, a nurse or an RN or someone in that um, level of the medical field would do. Learning CPR, how to monitor blood pressure, and more. Health Science and Clinical Skills is a year-long course designed to provide students with an overview of all phases of the healthcare industry. I want to be a medical malpractice lawyer. Ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to work in the dermatology field. With over 30 students of color in their biomed and engineering programs, Catholic High is doing their part to bring diversity to careers in STEM. The STEM field is very broad and there are so many options out there and I think that it can really help you narrow down your options or, or maybe look into something you're more interested in. According to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, nearly 66 percent of women working in STEM are white, while 14 percent are black, and stats are even lower for women of American Indian, Asian, Hawaiian, and Hispanic descent. And that's I believe should be a calling to all women of color that we all need to jump on this um, boat and start getting into the STEM field so that we can have the next generation look up to people that look like them and I feel that's very important. Upon completion of this course, each student will earn certifications in AED, first aid and CPR. I'm Yana Massey reporting for WJZ.